Drag rebar is one of the best tools in our company. So right now, I will demonstrate some outstanding functions to utilize this tool. As you all know, that could be a big deal for us to do soft drawing in Revit structure because you have to spend a lot of time for presenting single rebar in the drawing. But everything becomes extremely simple when we use drag rebar. You just only uh, click drag rebar on ribbon. After that, you could select rebar that you actually to present drawing in drawings. Indicate a position for rebar. Indicate a position for rebar command. You can do the same thing with other rebar. Click, click the positions. Okay, you can do the same thing with other rebar in this project. And you can do the same thing in cross sections. Click drag rebar, select rebar. And so you can move rebar command positions on your own. And of course, when we change bar diameters of rebar, everything will be updated at the same time. And with invisible functions, you can easily hide this dimension for all of view or only selected object and so otherwise we can use a uh, visible to show the dimension again click yes to show the dimension again okay so the dimension for the entire project and in addition you can input a number to indicate whether or not the dimension will be shown. Uh, for instance, if you uh, input a thousand millimeter, the dimension will be uh, disappear if the length of rebar is less than a thousand millimeter. Or we can input the size for rebar command, 2.5 millimeter. And in some special situations, when we use uh, reinforcement numbers to uh, format the rebar number, you must run uh, the reset command. You must run reset command to update new rebar number in this entire project. And so that's all for today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our website to know more detail about this tool. And thank you so much.